Hey everyone and welcome to group break number 15. Today we are doing four boxes each of hobby of series one from this year, series two from last year, and series two from this year. So uh, really looking forward to this one. Lots of good young guns that you can get out of this and overall just going to be a pretty fun break here. So uh, before we get right into the break, we've got a couple of breaks coming up next week. Uh, first one is a mixer. It's only had three spots left as of a little bit a while, uh, not too long ago. Uh, it's featuring some Series 1, Series 2, some Allure, uh, some Artifacts, and some OPG Platinum. So, uh, link to that is in Twitch chat. If you're watching on YouTube, all the links will be in the YouTube description below. And then the Saturday break is actually already sold out. So, thank you very much again on that one. That one's already sold out. It's a 16 box hobby mixer, but, and I won't be dropping a link for that one because you can't get spots for it. But definitely feel free to come check it out if you aren't in it. Um, it'll be a pretty fun break as well to do. And then kind of the week after that, we have another mixer, which I'll link here. It's again, series one, series two, Allure Retail and SP Game Use. And finally, you'll actually see some more series two. Uh, so six boxes from the case of um, of the cases that we just opened up for series two will be in the break on, this will be on May 30th. It'll be a hobby battle. So six boxes of each of both series two. And that one will be fun. And then finally, if you wanna win a spot in Thursday breaks, we're running some contests on our Instagram page, uh, on our Instagram page, so check it out. And it's and again, if you're watching on YouTube, a link to the contest will be in the description. Twitch, it is in chat right now. And that is really all there is for for now. So let's get into the uh, into the break here. So good luck, everyone, as we switch on over to the random. So again, thank you everyone for purchasing spots here. Um, here's a list of everyone who has purchased a spot. And again. We are going to jump in and random everything off three times here on the names and then three times on the team. So once, twice, and thrice. Peter on top, Alexander on the bottom. There we go, make sure they're all copied. That'd be a little bit. There we go, come on pace, perfect. And on the teams, so again, all 31 teams represented here. Uh, Three times on them. Once, twice, and thrice. All right, Flyers on top. They're actually probably one of the best teams in Ottawa on the bottom. Um, so good luck, everyone. Here's who you've got. Peter, you've got the Philadelphia Flyers. Richard with the Edmonton Oilers. Terry Abs with the Nashville Predators. Dan Spiller with the Washington Capitals. Bayon with the Carolina Hurricanes. Terry Abs with the Montreal Canadiens. Mark Meckelberg with the Dallas Stars, John Bennett with the Pittsburgh Penguins, Bill Cunningham with the Chicago Blackhawks, Bayal with the Tampa Bay Lightning, Mark Meckelberg with the Vegas Golden Knights, Dan with the New Jersey Devils, uh, Chris with the Florida Panthers, Ken with the New York Rangers, Brian, you have the Detroit Red Wings, Joseph, you have the Colorado Avalanche, Ted Davis with the Calgary Flames, Joseph with the Columbus Blue Jackets, Jeremy with the Anaheim Ducks, Ted, you have the Buffalo Sabres, Minnesota Wild, and Vancouver Canucks. Kyle, you have the LA Kings. Joseph, you have the New York Islanders. Kelly, you have the Arizona Coyotes. Mark, you have the Toronto Maple Leafs. Selena, you have the Winnipeg Jets. Jordan Norris, you have the St. Louis Blues. Selena, you have the San Jose Sharks. Richard, you have the Boston Bruins. And Alexander, you have the Ottawa Senators. Just going to leave these on the screen for a couple of seconds here. And then we'll get started. And if you have any questions throughout the break, let me know. Um, I'm hoping we get some really cool stuff today. Obviously, there's some decent potential for some big hits. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's switch back over to the break cam. And, yeah. So, we're going to start off with... Uh, let me just shrink this back down. There we go. Uh, so, we're going to start off with Series 1 move into last year's series two and then move into series two again and just kind of complete the rotation throughout the whole process here. Um, again, all the top young guns will get sleeved along the way. Um, and that's really, really about it. And at the end of the break, obviously everything will be, uh, everything will be sleeved up. So good luck everyone. Here we go. Let's get into box one. Uh, I'm just gonna pull up something for my webcam here again. Uh, it seems like my webcam actually is doing really well with the um, when I turn off the autofocus. So getting a lot less of the like 
weird little snaps and stuff. So just gonna make sure we get that in there. Hang on, let me just get this mic set up better and light perfect. Perfect, it's like an art getting everything set up here. But it's gonna be a lot of fun today. I'm looking forward to this one. Again, I think we're gonna get something cool. Let me know what young guns you think we'll hit. Do you think we'll hit a Makar, a Sveshnikov, a heart? Uh, can, we could hit a PD canvas. That'd be pretty sick. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Box empty. All right, so here we go. Uh, after the first pack, I'm just gonna have to, once we get the cards in view, I'll have to just turn the autofocus off and then we'll be good to go for the rest of the break. So here we go. And make sure the cards are in focus. Uh, Chicago's actually, I mean, if you're, not a Blackhawks fan, then yeah, I get it. But also, um, they're actually pretty good. So, all right, we are good to go. Here we go. Uh, and starting off with a Generation Next of Patrick Line for the Winnipeg Jets. Patrick Line Generation Next for the Winnipeg Jets. Um, but yeah, Chicago's actually pretty decent. You've got some good rookies, so... Uh, not only just good rookies, but like a decent volume of rookies too. Um, I mean, Doc is who you're obviously hoping for. So all it takes is one hit. Uh, next pack. And our first young gun is Daniel Yurtakin for the San Jose Sharks. Sharks are on the board. Selena with the Sharks. Or, yeah, Selena. Next pack. We have a uh, canvas of Samuel Gerard for the Colorado Avalanche. Canvas of Gerard for the Avalanche. And I do have the base variation uh, checklist up beside me here, um, just in case we do pull one. I think actually one of them, there's a base variation found like just the other day. So kind of cool. Uh, next up, we have a Patrick Kane Pure Energy for the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> oh you got you got the jets Whew. all right next up we have uh abramov for the auto centers on the rookie portraits but yeah it's uh it's definitely a, like this is gonna be a fairly balance break between most of the teams i know a couple of the teams that are weaker this year have rookies in series two so uh definitely a nice mix uh for the san jose sharks young guns of lean bergman sharks getting a couple hits right off the start there and base variations are typically um like the only hit in a pack and they'll be in the middle of a pack so um they're pretty easy to pick out of a crowd looks like we got a jersey card coming up here and it is Alexander Barkov for the Florida Panthers. Nice one there for the Panthers. Chris, uh, what group is he? Barkov is a... Uh, I always like to see what groups they are, uh, just because it kind of adds a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of like how hard they are to hit. So Barkov is a group E. So yeah. Uh, but generally speaking, there's not really, there used to be like a lot worse. Um, man, that's crazy. Getting them back to back. Uh, Patrick Waugh insert for the, uh, Colorado, or Colorado, uh, Montreal Canadiens. Didn't you have, there's someone that got Buffalo in both breaks last week too, which is kind of, kind of crazy. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, next we've got a Young Guns Canvas for the Boston Bruins of Connor Clifton. Young Gun Canvas of Connor Clifton for the Bruins. Yeah, you'll you'll probably hit a Hirose or a Zadina. Uh, you've got tickets in Series 2. Um, I think Rasmussen's Canvas might be in Series 2 from last year. Uh, nice one for the Columbus Blue Jackets, Texier Young Guns. Nice Alexander Texier Young Guns. Hitting a lot of our Young Guns early on here. Three in a canvas already. I guess we're almost on the first stack, so. 
I mean, Detroit, you hope for, hope for Zadina would be the big one there. So, uh, Portraits of Huberto for the Florida Panthers. Florida getting some early hits on the board here. Not too bad. Just going to straighten the piles out a little bit. Yeah, I want, I want to see something spicy, as always. I mean, with Series 1, I think we have... No, that's Pure Energy. It looked like an exclusives, but... Uh, pure Energy for the Washington Capitals of Kuznetsov. That one box of uh, Series 2 that we did in the mixer last week with, like, the clear-cut Young Gun and the Young Gun exclusives, even though the names weren't big, like, that was a wicked, wicked, wicked uh, box there. Next up, we have... Uh, ooh, we have a two-hit pack here. So first up, we have uh, UD30 of Wayne Gretzky for the Edmonton Oilers. And for the St. Louis Blues, signature sensations of Jordan Cairo. He is a Group E. So these are, again, like uh, like case hits pretty much. So I'll get that one in a, get that one in a sleeve. And again, super rare hit. So I like to sleeve the rare stuff as we go along just because, you know, it's it's rare um and it's just cool for the recap so we'll do a recap at the end of every break as always um and nice start though for the blues blues actually are a pretty solid team in this um you've got we'll slide him over to the left here the left will be our recap pile so hey cole but yeah they have robert thomas in series two so he's a good player uh, Nathan Bastion, Young Gun for the New Jersey Devils. Bastion for the Devils. So overall, box one, pretty solid. I mean, signature sensations. Uh, a couple decent Young Guns. Not really a lot more that you can ask for. So, uh, and a canvas of Andreas Athanasiu for Detroit. Uh, this is a group break, so... Uh, Florida, Florida has a couple young guns. I mean, Borgstrom is kind of someone who was good at the time of release. He's kind of fizzled a little bit, but, um, they do have a couple young guns. So, and if you have a team that has some young guns, then, um, it's pretty, pretty much what you're looking for. So next up for the Carolina Hurricanes, we got TV Teravina, Pure Energy, uh, Bayou with the Hurricanes. They're on the board. Yeah, I mean, a jersey card and an autograph in the first box is pretty solid. Um, can't really ask for much more from Series 1. Barzell for the Islanders on the portraits. Next up, about six packs to go here or so. We have uh, Gaten Haas, Young Guns, for the Edmonton Oilers. I want to see like a, either like a cool buyback maybe. Um, how many young guns are we at by the way? We're at we're at five, so we have one left because we got the uh, canvas. But normally, I found normally when you get a canvas young gun in series one, it's a good sign. Uh, the boxes just seem really good that have them. Next up, we have a Drew Doughty shooting stars for the LA Kings. <laughs> you wish, right? But no, the Panthers do have some decent, decent prospects. So next up, we got a Connor McDavid UD30 for the Edmonton Oilers. McDavid UD30 for the Oilers. The Oilers just end up with a stack because of all those UD30s from Series One, every single time, pretty much. And uh, John Tavares, canvas with uh, Carlton there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so this is actually the 15th group break we've done. Uh, there's a link to them. Uh, like on the site, you can check them out. I'll drop a link here shortly. But And nice for the Montreal Canadiens. Ryan Palin, Young Gun. Nice one there for the Habs. Terry, that one's yours. Uh, I will grab the link for you quickly. So let me uh, pull it up here. There we go. Right. 
There you go. There's the link for that. Okay, two packs to go here. Next up, we've got uh, Tavares Portraits for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Tavares Portraits for the Maple Leafs. And final pack. The main thing I want to see is some sort of Fanimation. Uh, I love the Fanimation set. I've never seen one pulled in person. So uh, we have uh, Jamie Ben Pure Energy for the Dallas Stars. So there we go. Box one of Series 1 done. I mean... It was a solid box. You got a good jersey card, an autograph. Not much more you can really ask for from, you know, Series 1. Um, the Young Guns were pretty decent. You got Paling and uh, Texier, so... Alright. Next up. Let's get into some Series 2 here. I think we pull Brady Kachuk today. I think we pulled Brady Kachuk. We pulled two two Svetches, a Carter Hart. I think it's time for a Brady Kachuk. So, all right. Obviously, the biggest one we're probably getting like a PD canvas or something. But all right, here we go. What are you thinking from series two? I uh, I'm thinking we get. I'm thinking we get a Brady Kachuk today. I don't know. I feel, I feel like we're going to get a Kachuk today. Next up, we've got, starting off with the Connor McDavid canvas for the Edmonton Oilers. Nice photo there, him facing off against Crosby. Bit of an iconic photo, to be honest. That's one of those cards that if they made, like, a giant, like, I don't know, 4 by 6 version, you'd be laughing. Or, like, not laughing, but, like, want to have it. Uh, for the Philadelphia Flyers, Mikhail Vorobiev. OPG rookie. It'd just be really cool. Like even just as like a playmat type thing for like doing breaks. That's a really cool photo. PD canvas, eh? Borgstrom high glass. Uh, Bodker silver for the Ottawa centers. That's just the update there. Um, yeah, so the update in 1819, like the, the one per box variation is the silver. The... In 1920, it is blue. Uh, ooh. Oh, we have a Young Guns canvas for the New Jersey Devils of Michael McLeod. Nice Young Guns canvas there. So two for two on Young Gun canvases. McLeod, pretty fast skater. So not a bad one there. Who had the Devils? Dan with the Devils. Next up, we have... Uh, for the Florida Panthers, Jacob McDonald, Young Guns. Young Guns of Jacob McDonald. I, don't know, I like last year's, like, the 1819 Young Gun design just a little bit more. It's just, I think it's cleaner. The only thing that, like, could be a little bit different is the blue on the, uh, is the blue on the top right where the foil kind of ends. So, uh, we have a marquee rookie retro of Anti Sumella. For the San Jose Sharks. Sharks have a decent amount of stuff between the two years. They've had a decent amount of rookies come in just with all the cap stuff that they've had. So Next up, we've got... Uh, I mean, it's Brady Kachuk, marquee rookie. Not the young gun we're looking for, but not a bad one there for the senders. Alexander on that one. And if I see a Young Guns exclusives or something or a clear cut, I will try to save it to the end of the box. Uh, rookie portraits of Doc Call for the New York Islanders. Just to, you know, build up a little bit of suspense to it. So. Yeah, this just looks like a regular Young Gun. And we have, for the Boston Bruins, Jacobs Borrell. Nice one there. Bruins have a lot of stuff too. Holy cow. I keep on forgetting how much stuff they have. There's Borel at least. There's Borel and Vladder in Series 2. They might have another one. I'm not quite sure, but they do have two for sure. And not a bad one here actually for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Matthew Joseph. Matthew Joseph, Young Guns for the Tampa Bay Lightning. We pulled his auto out of OPG Platinum on Thursday. Good little player there. Tampa has a 
ridiculous farm system, and he's part of that. So, uh, next we've got our rookie portraits of Dominic Cahoon for the Chicago Blackhawks. Cahoon portraits for the Chicago Blackhawks. And it's like we got a jersey card coming up here. It is rookie photo shoot flashbacks. At least they're about one per case or so of uh, Ivan Provorov for the Philadelphia Flyers. Again, Flyers are just a really solid team in this. So what are these? He is a... Yeah, he's a group C, but these are still like case hits pretty much. So really nice jersey pull there. We'll stick them to the side for the recap later on. Uh, just because it is a tough pull. So I like to highlight those tough pulls. Not bad for the Flyers. Peter with the Flyers. Next, we've got a Sven Berchi canvas for the Vancouver Canucks. Berchi for the Canucks on the canvas. I always like Berchi. Good little player. Next pack, we've got ourselves a uh, exclusives for the Anaheim Ducks of Hampus Lindholm, number two one hundred. Just missed the jersey number. Who had Anaheim though? Uh, Anaheim was uh, Jeremy. So we'll stick him to the side again. Exclusives are kind of just. We're showcasing at the end. So pretty solid box. Tough to hit jersey and exclusives. Be nice to get like one really good young gun here, but uh, Joseph's solid, which is nice. Uh, Robert Thomas, marquee rookie for the St. Louis Blues. Hit a couple good marquee rookies. So you got Kachuk, you got Thomas. I mean, the Samoa, like he's a decent player. He doesn't have quite the following of the top guys, but definitely a good player. Uh, next pack we have Patrice Bergeron doing a low five with David Pashmack for the Boston Bruins on that canvas. I hope they, the Crosby McDavid canvas, I hope one year they just do a buyback of that and have them both sign it. That'd be absolutely a bonkers card. Uh, for the Chicago Blackhawks, Dylan Sakura, Young Guns. Blackhawks on the board with a young gun they're consistent very consistent across all the products here so as they kind of transition a little bit next we've got uh marquee rookie retro sheldon Drees for the colorado avalanche sheldon Drees marquee rookie retro for the avalanche a few packs to go here we have ourselves a Rourke Chartier, uh, OPG rookie for the San Jose Sharks. Rourke Chartier, OPG rookie for the Sharks. And uh, Jordan Cairo portraits for the St. Louis Blues. Pull his autograph in, a, in series one of this year. Pull his rookie portraits and Series 2 of last year. What's next? Uh, we've got ourselves. Not a bad one, actually. Elias Anderson, Young Guns for the New York Rangers. His stock has kind of fallen a little bit, but he is a good player. So he's someone who, you know, you kind of just want to hold on to because um, I think if he gets onto a different team, he might do a little bit better. So, But not a bad one there for the Rangers. And... For the Dallas Stars, Gavin Bayreuther, Young Guns. Uh, the That is currently the plan, yes, for there to be a pure SP Authentic, but things can change, so. Um, I mean, SPA looks pretty, pretty decent this year, I'd say. Uh, portraits of Pionk for the Rangers. I was actually combing through the checklist of, like, autographs and stuff or like uh future watches and stuff because the checklist just got released and there's like i mean the, there's a lot of rookie autographs this year compared to other years uh bozak update for the blues and that's it for that box of series two but yeah there's a lot of uh like update stuff for 
or not update, but a lot of rookies actually signed for this. Uh, obviously, the main ones that didn't sign are Kako and I think Flurry. Kale Flurry was the other one. So, um, but Primu is, I believe, he's autoed, which is big. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I miss the old like uh, three autos per box SP authentic. I think with uh, credentials coming out, it's actually gonna be interesting to see how. Like what people like more, um, because I like credentials overall format better. I just think, you know, it was. I mean, it sold really quickly, so obviously a lot of people liked it. But it just seemed to do. It just seemed to be a little bit more balanced of a product. So. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Ah, uh, starting off with a marquee rookie blue for the Winnipeg Jets of David Gustafson. So those are the one per boxes. The other parallels are red and gold, and those typically fall about one per case on each of them. Sometimes you get lucky and get both in one case. Other times you only get one or the other. I think golds are generally one per, but yeah. Oh, uh, marquee rookie of Adam Fox for the New York Rangers. So the Rangers are actually fairly solid between the two products. I kind of forgot they had Anderson as a uh, young gun in series two. Let's see, let's see something fancy in here though. Uh, Kevin Hayes canvas. Uh, uh, draw what's your, uh, what's your name and last initial just so I can pull up. But uh, Kevin Hayes for the flyers on the canvas. Next up, we've got uh, Ryan Linger and Young Guns for the New York Rangers. Rangers getting a lot of stuff here. So first name, last name. I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think we have any duplicates, but just in case. I just got the ch list up beside me so I can pull it up quickly for you. Uh, Winnipeg Jets, rookie portraits of Hinola. Hinola for the Jets. Not a bad one there. Who is, is Lingard with, is he with Makar? Uh, this is stuck here. Oh, oh, that's why it's stuck. It's a high gloss. Uh, for the Vancouver Canucks, uh, high gloss of Tanner Pearson, numbered five of 10. Wow, nice one there for the Canucks. We'll get that one in a sleeve and top loader. Obviously, you hope to hit a young gun high gloss, but regular base high gloss is solid as well. Especially a player who doesn't have a ton of stuff, just because if someone PCs that player, they're generally going to chase after these a little bit more. So, but yeah, yeah, Jaw, just let me know what your first name is, and I can pull up your team for you quickly. So, the nice high gloss there for the Canucks of Tanner Pearson. Next pack, we've got ourselves uh, Nikita Gusev, a retro rookie. Uh, Mule's not directly on the website right away. I think um, maybe what I'll try to do next time is just take a screenshot of it and have a link available. So that way people can just click the link and see all the teams. Uh, Jaw, let me, again, let me know what your, uh, what your first name is and I can pull up the list for you. So, um, John Bennett, uh, you had, you have the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, nice young gun though for the Montreal Canadiens of Nick Suzuki. We'll get him sleeved up here. So I think maybe next time we'll do a, we'll do a screenshot or something and I'll just have the link available. Cause I know that's, that's definitely something that's. A lot of people, you know, want to want to see. We'll put Suzuki in the uh, good young gun pile there. Yeah, I've got the I've got the list up right beside me too. So if at any point you want to know what your teams are, just and feel free to ask or something like that. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, for the Florida Panthers, canvas of Bobrovsky. So we hit a high gloss. I mean. 
Obviously, you want to hit a young gun's high gloss, but a base high gloss is still solid. And again, sometimes those like players who aren't like the most popular ones, their high glosses actually do fairly well just because you know if you don't if you collect that player and they don't get a ton of stuff throughout the year, uh, you go hard after those few chase cards. So uh, Kublik Marquee Rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. I think Pearson's got a like decent following in Vancouver now, so there we go. So Lindgren's with Suzuki. Okay. Uh, next up, we have a portrait rookie of Gaten Haas for the Edmonton Oilers. But yeah, let me know how that sounds with the taking the screenshot and then um, getting it posted in a link. Because I think that might be the best way to go about it overall. Next, we've got ourselves a Nick Hag Young Gun for the Vegas Golden Knights. Not a bad one there for the Golden Knights. Mark. So about halfway through the box here. And so far, so good. The box has been solid. Next up, we've got a... I've got a base card stuck here again. Uh, Mikheyev Marquee Rookie for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Some of these base cards are stuck together already. That's uh, awfully quick. <laughs> And we've got a, I mean, for, hey, John, joined at the right time. Young Gun Canvas for the Pittsburgh Penguins of John Marino. Nice one there. And we'll get him. He's one of the better rookies from the crop, so we'll get him sleeved up. There we go. Uh, so Boston, I mean, you've got Sinichka, you've got Frederick are probably the top two. Um, Edmonton, in terms of Young Guns, uh, they don't have a ton of like high end guys. They have they have like a little bit of volume, um, but yeah, with Edmonton you're just gonna get a stack of McDavid stuff. Um, what else is there with Edmonton? I think you actually have that like outside. I think Taylor Hall's like retro acetates in series two. Uh, Kale Flurry for the Montreal Canadiens. But Boston, you've got quite a, quite a few of just like like decent players that'll get a lot of playing time in the NHL. So there we go. And for the Pittsburgh Penguins, Sam Lafferty, Young Guns. These some of these are uh, sticking together. That's pretty early on, actually, for them to be sticking together. Could just be this box. We'll see. So we've hit a young gun canvas in every single uh, box we've opened up so far. Oh, we got a, ooh, for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I think this is the second or third time we've hit this one. Uh, rookie dual materials of Rasmus Sandy and Ilya Mikheyev. Nice one there for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mark, put that one to the side as well. That's a good recapper. And those are about case hits or so. One, are they? Yeah, I think they're case hits. So, Sometimes every second case, but for the most part, case hits. So good one there. And uh, Bobrovsky update for the Panthers. But yeah, I mean, so far, boxes have been pretty, pretty equal. Uh, I think this box of Series 2 is taking the cake just with the Young Guns and the Young Gun Canvas and the jersey. A retro rookie of Wallstrom for the Islanders. The other really cool thing you could get out of, like, you have to obviously defy the odds quite a bit for Series 2 from last year is, uh, I think it's the Rasmus Dahlin, uh UD 30th Anniversary Diamond Relic. Nice one for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Elvis Merzlikens, Young Gun. Nice one there for the Blue Jackets. Joseph, we'll get him sleeved up as well. Elvis is uh, definitely one of the top guys of the crop, at least right now. So... Yeah, anyways, back to SP Authentic. I didn't really finish my thought there, but the checklist is pretty solid, but where it's gonna, where the product's actually gonna shine the most is with its, um, with some of the updated young guns. So you've got Chesterkin in there, and then you've got David Ayers, who's like 
I think he's pre-selling for like 80, 90 bucks on eBay, which is just ridiculous. Um, and then a Taze Canvas for the Chicago Blackhawks. But yeah, like those two cards are going to keep box prices up quite a bit just because uh, Shesterkin's going to be around the same, probably around the same level as like Hughes and um, Hughes and Makar in terms of value. So uh, definitely some good updates there. Kale Fleury, marquee rookie for the Habs. And I mean, you've obviously got all your autograph content. I know it looks like Quinn Hughes is alive, which is cool. Because uh, Upper Deck posted some previews and he was definitely like, it was on card live. So that was good. Uh, Gruntrum for the Kings on the portraits. Kings are on the board. And last pack here. So pretty good start for uh, all the products here, actually. And, wow, what a box. Youngins for the Montreal Canadiens of Caden Primu. That box we got Merzlikens, Flurry, Primu, a high gloss, the rookie materials, a young gun canvas of John Mer like a good young gun canvas. Like that was a wicked box. Holy cow. That was a really, really good box. Uh, like there's three like instant top loads on the young guns, which is pretty crazy. All right, here we go. Uh, next box here. Of series one. I think I might make myself a uh. Hang on, let's get this plastic off. I might try to make myself like a little hockey stick for the for the box cutter. Style it up a little bit. All right, who are we hitting in this box? I want to see one of the Hughes brothers, obviously. Box is empty. There we go. But maybe. Honestly, one of the other things I want to see, we haven't pulled him a car young gun canvas yet. We pulled a couple of Quinn Hughes's. So it'd be nice to see McCarr kind of, you know, answer back here. But we're starting off with a generation next of Alex DeBrincat for Chicago. DeBrincat generation next for the Blackhawks. And next pack, we've got ourselves Ooh, nice, actually, for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Rasmus Sandin, Young Guns. So it looks like we're going to hit that nice defensive crop here. I think Sandin's a part of that with Fabro and, uh, Fabro, Bjornfot, and, um, I think Matt Waz in there as well, but maybe. Sometimes they alternate them a little bit, so we will have to wait to find out. Uh, Felino Canvas for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Something signed from the Oilers. I mean, I think that'll be tough in Series 1. But you could get, you know, a cool buyback. So, uh, Stamkos Pure Energy for the Lightning. What else do the, the Oilers, uh, they might have some Fanimation stuff too, so... Next pack, we've got a Portraits of Clayton Keller for the Coyotes. I know McDavid is a Series 2 base, so if we see, his, if we see a base format of Series 1, it's actually an insert. So one you got to keep an eye out for. Uh, Max Jones Young Guns for the Anaheim Ducks. Not a bad one there for the Ducks. He's a, he's a player you love to have on your team. Hate to play against them, but would love to have them on your team. Looks like we got a jersey coming up here. What's it going to be? Any guesses? I'm just going to pull up the jersey checklist here. And it is a Rasmus Ristolainen jersey for the Buffalo Sabres. He is a Group E as well. So same odds as a Barkov. Ristolainen jersey for the Buffalo Sabres. Yeah, autograph cards are super tough to hit um, in Series 1 and Series 2. Uh, UD30 of Wayne Gretzky for the Edmonton Oilers. 
that's the the iconic Gretzky with the cut pose. Next up, we've got a Morgan Riley canvas for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Doing a nice little stretch there on the boards. Yeah, decent box so far. Good young guns. Um, got a jersey card. Really not too much to complain about. Uh, for the New Jersey Devils, Brandon Gignac, young guns. Not too, too bad there. I want to see, I, again, the biggest thing I want to see is a Fanimation. That's the one card that I've wanted to pull for a long time. Uh, Portraits of McDonough for the Tampa Bay Lightning. McDonough for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And uh, for the Edmonton Oilers, Leon Dreisaitl Pure Energy. And if they do that set next year, I'd love to see them do it like team colored, but because I think it just make the cards pop a little bit more. Oh, uh, generation next of Alex Tuck for the Vegas Golden Knights. And just base on the rest. So you got a few young guns in so far. I think I got the crop of uh, Sandine wrong. So Gignac, um, Jones, who else is he with? Abramov for the Senators. Nice young guns there of Abramov for the Sens. Got not a ton of packs left in this box, but again, just been a solid box. Decent young guns, jersey card. Young gun canvas would be pretty cool, obviously. Uh, Patrick Kane canvas for the Chicago Blackhawks. Something spicy, as always. You no know, cool base variation or, you know, clear cut young gun or something like that would be pretty sick. Uh, Gabriel Landeskog, pure energy for the Colorado Avalanche. Landeskog, pure energy for the Avs. Uh, pack on soap in this way, there we go. Next up, we've got uh, Rookie Portraits for the Detroit Red Wings of Zadina. There you go. First time, I think, I think that's the first time we've said Detroit. Which is pretty weird, because they have a lot of stuff between all the products, so like a decent amount at least. Next up, we've got, for the Edmonton Oilers, Joaquin Nygaard, Young Guns. There you go, Rokit. And we got a Shooting Stars Red right wing for the uh, Boston Bruins of David Pasternak. So this is, again, one of the tougher ones to get. I think the Reds are 1 in 192 for right wings. Oh, uh, let's see. Shooting Stars right wings. Nope, Reds are a case hit. So, again, the right wing Reds are, you get them about one per case. So pretty good pull there, actually. For the Bruins, sale value isn't super high on them, but it's still a very, very tough pull. Uh, Patrick Waugh, UD30 for the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, Vorchek is not the base variation. Carter Hart is the one for the Flyers that you got to look out for in Series 1. Next up, we've got a Darnell Nurse canvas for the Edmonton Oilers. Nurse canvas for the Oilers. Got three packs to go here. Looks like we got another Young Guns coming up. And it is Jesper Boquist for the New Jersey Devils. Hung around a lot in the last break we did actually, so. Nice little Boquist there for the Devils. They've done pretty well so far. See, final couple packs here. We got a Portraits of Sebastian Ajo for the Carolina Hurricanes. 
And final pack here. Overall, just a solid box, you know. Um, nothing really major, nothing, but also just like decent. Uh, ooh, we got something cool coming up here. Uh, we got a pure energy of Taylor Hall, and I think it goes this way. We got a clear cut leaders. Uh, this is actually a random between the Chicago Blackhawks, the Colorado Avalanche, and the Washington Capitals of Patrick Kane, Nathan McKinnon, and Alexander Ovechkin. Wow, hiding in the last pack there. So that's a random between. Uh, Washington is Dan. Uh, Colorado is Joseph. And Chicago is Bill. So that's a three-way random there. We'll do that at the end of the break. Get that one in the sleeve, though. That's a tough hit for sure. Haven't seen one of those yet. So it's always cool when you see something you haven't seen. There we go. Nice one there. Kind of the die cut acetate. We pulled some cool uh, acetate stuff out of the series one. So what are the odds on that one? It is a... Uh, those are one in every four hundred or 4,752 hobby packs. So those are like a really, really, really tough hit. Like one in 20 cases type thing. And sale value on them isn't the best, but at the same time, super cool card. It's always cool when you defy the odds and get some really cool cards because of it. I'm going to move the good young guns over here just to give us some more room to open up the box. There we go. All right, here we go. So, I mean, that box is actually like fairly normal. And then last pack is just like, hey, don't forget, we can have some cool stuff in Series 1. So, really, really cool box overall there. I mean, you got a decent young gun, so you got a... You really got everything you could ask for in that box. You got some decent young guns. You got, um, I mean, a really, really cool insert. So, nothing to be upset about there. How will Series 2 answer from 1819? We will find out. Box is empty. Yeet it over into my box corner that I need to empty out at some point here. And here we go. Off to the races in Series 2. And if I see something that's like Young Gunny exclusives, then we'll try to save it to the end. Uh, Latang Canvas for the Penguins. Latang Canvas for the Penguins. See, that, that uh, Leaders of Shots on Gold there is for... You see who's been yelled to shoot the most by their fan bases. Uh, Kiefer Sherwood, rookie for the Anaheim Ducks. All you can picture is all the hockey card collectors yelling at their favorite player to shoot just so they get on that one card. That'd actually be pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, shoot, you're two shots away from getting a really cool insert. Uh, not a bad one there on the silver rookie of Rupe Hints for the uh, Dallas Stars. Mark with the Dallas Stars there. Rupins is a good little player. Someone to keep your eye on for sure. I, I think it's Rupe, but... Uh, next up, Canvas of Vasileski for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Doing pretty much the splits there. He is a very athletic goalie. Watching him play makes my groin hurt. All right, next up we've got a uh, Brett Sini young gun for the New Jersey Devils. Was Sini with Svetch? I think Svini was with Svetch. Oh, it's not a hundred percent in series two from last year, but I feel like we pulled Sini both times we pulled the Svechnikov young gun. So we will find out. Uh, for the Detroit Red Wings, Dennis Cholowski, marquee rookie retro. He's a pretty solid defender. I think once uh, Detroit kind of regains some popularity and gets back onto the, gets back into the win column here, uh, you'll see him spike up a little bit because he seems pretty solid. So, uh, for the Blues, Jordan Cairo, marquee rookie, marquee rookie of Cairo for the Blues, and. 
we have uh, rookie portraits of Christian Wollinen for the Senators. Wollinen portraits for the Senators. They've been kind of quiet by the Senator standards in the breaks. They've only got like one, one to two young guns. <laughs> they hit a lot between the two years. So, uh, Dan Vladar, young guns for the Boston Bruins. I feel like this is Svetch. Are we going to get three Svetches in the uh, three breaks, three straight breaks of Series 2? That'd be pretty ridiculous. One way to find out, right? Uh, Henrik Borgstrom for the Florida Panthers on the Young Guns. I, I feel like they're all part of uh, Svechnikov, uh, Andrei Svechnikov's crop. So, one way to find out. But maybe we'll get some funky Young Gun to mess it up. We'll see. Uh, rookie Portraits of Veselainen for the Winnipeg Jets. Veselainen for the Jets. Next pack. Is that no? That's, I think it's just a normal card. We'll see. Ooh! Oh no! That is actually really good for the uh, Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Acetate Young Gun. Clear cut of Casey Middlestat. So good one there. Obviously, kind of dropped a little bit over the past year, um, but still has some value. So nice one there for the Buffalo Sabres. Who had the Sabres? Ted Davis. At release, this was a massive, massive pull. Um, like, really, really good pull. So, But still solid. Clear-cut Young Guns of middle stat. Really good stuff. So that might actually uh, mean no fetch. We'll, we'll have to find out. But again, last time we got a clear-cut Young Gun, we also got an exclusive in the same box. Uh, OPG Rookie Reds. These are about one per case of Anti Sumela for the San Jose Sharks. Nice little case hit there for the Sharks. I love the red border on them, actually. It's really clean. But last time we hit a clear cut, we also got an exclusives in the same box, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, Ricola, marquee rookie for the Pittsburgh Penguins. You saw Ricola for the Penguins. We'll see if we can echo that box, because, I mean, that'd be pretty crazy. But that middle stat's a really solid hit. So, uh, ooh, retro canvas for the Detroit Red Wings. These are about, I think, 192 packs or so. So, tough hit though. Uh, Ted Lindsay. It's a nice one there. Yeah, we'll get him into the sleeve and the sleeve stack. Who had Detroit? Detroit was Brian. Nice one. I love the retro canvases. They just, they work really well with the photo and like the texture of the card and stuff. So really cool card there. Again, secondary market, not going to be the highest valued, but they're just, they're cool. And sometimes that's just fine. Uh, for the Detroit Red Wings, Joe Hicketts, Young Guns. Nice Joe Hicketts. Shorter in stature, but very, very hardworking defenseman. We pulled his clear cut actually in the box that we got the clear cut and the uh, Young Gun exclusives. That was a wicked hobby box. Uh, retro OPG for the Ottawa Senators, Mikel Bodker. I like last year's retro a little bit better, I think. If the colors went more with the teams, but then again, that just kind of adds that retro feel to them. So, uh. Got a Michael Rasmussen, Marky Rookie for the Detroit Red Wings. Detroit's hidden big in these packs, or hidden lots in these past few, past few packs. All right, what's up here? We've got a Jeremy Lausanne, Rookie Portraits for the Boston Bruins. Lausanne, Rookie Portraits for the Bruins. About six packs to go here. I think we still have at least one Young Gun coming. So we will see what it is, but uh, there he is for the Carolina Hurricanes. Andre Svechnikov, Young Gun. Nice one there. Who had the Hurricanes? That is Bao. Nice one there. One of the ones you're looking for out of Series 2. We've hit him consistently lately. Holy cow. So he had a really strong box here. 
I mean, if you open this at release, it would have been an insane box. And even now, it's still really good. Um, so that's in the uh, stack. So really nice stuff from this box here. Wow. Uh, we've got a canvas of Kyle Palmieri for the New Jersey Devils. So he is Vecini and Borgstrom and Bladder. But really strong box. Lots of like really good odds cards. So it's always good to see. And nice for the Calgary Flames. You saw Val Mackey. Young Guns. It's a nice one there for the Flames, Ted. He is uh he's definitely a player to it sucks that he was injured this year, but um very good defenseman. He probably would have been def well, he definitely would have been in their top six this year, but uh, rookie portraits for the Kings of Jarrett Anderson Dolan. But yeah, Vela Mackey's definitely a defenseman to keep your eye on. Defensemen typically sell for a little bit less than forwards, but um, Hughes and McCarr have kind of been breaking that lately. So just someone to keep your eye on. And final pack here, really good box of Series 2 from last year. We have a Dougie Hamilton update for the Carolina Hurricanes. So yeah, incredibly solid box there. Got the... Uh, Retired canvas, the middle stack clear cut young guns, and the Sveshnikov young guns. I'd count that as a uh, very good box. Yeah, last year's series two is very solid, so. Alright, on to this year's series two. See if it can top this. So we've actually got the first round of boxes, we had a Young Gun Canvas in every single box. This round we have, so far, two of the boxes have clear cuts. Can we make it three boxes with clear cuts? That'd be pretty crazy. <laughs> Don't tell me the odds of that, that's for sure. All right, box is empty. And here we go. And if I see something that's a clear cut, we'll try to save it to the end. This is probably our blue right out of the gate of Nick Comano for the Dallas Stars. So it looks like that blue is always in the bottom right top pack. Which means I think the one of them is a retro and one is a... Like the top packs generally always have OPG cards type thing. Next up we've got a Carter Taransky, marquee rookie for the Philadelphia Flyers. Base don't seem to be stuck together, which is a good start for me. What young gun are we hitting in this box? Uh, we hit Svetch. Maybe we'll see Kako this box. Second overall picks. Makes sense, right? Uh, we have an Oscar Clefbaum canvas for the Edmonton Oilers. Clefbaum for the Oilers. And first young gun out of the gate here, we have a Rep Gardner for the Dallas Stars. Gardner, oops, young guns for the Dallas Stars. Let's just fix that pile up here quickly. There we go. There we go. Uh, is Gardner with Kako? I, he might be. Is he Use a cackle in the car, I think. One or the other. But I think he's always with the big person, so. Uh, Adam Fox portraits for the New York Rangers. Fox for the Rangers. And. Uh, this is a base pack is the kachuk going to be the base variation here yes yeah, so this is actually a base variation of brady kachuk nice one there for the ottawa senators that's a base variation of kachuk uh, i have the checklist up right beside me here so uh, if we pull a regular one i'll try to set it to the side so we can compare it but those are really tough pulls so congrats alexander on that one they're one in about a thousand packs i think so only the second time we've pulled one I mean, you're hoping to hit a Kachuk out of Series 2, but the base variation is pretty solid, so... I'm just going to keep him there just so I remember that we're looking for his regular base. <laughs> just to show off that it is a variation, but... 
that is the variation according to the uh, checklist that I have up here. So, and I mean, it was in the middle of the pack and there is no other hits in the pack. So, uh, Corey Perry for the Dallas Stars retro. So it looks like some really just odd defying cards here, which is, which is cool. <laughs> I love this stuff. Like when you get stuff that's really tough to hit. So, uh, no, it's Barrett, Barrett Hayden Youngen for the Arizona Coyotes. So, ah, I guess he's with, uh, he's with Gardner. I thought, maybe that's, I don't forget who else is in this crop then. I thought Gardner was with one of the uh, top rookies, so I'm confused. Uh, ooh, we have another retro canvas here of Dirk Graham for the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Another retired Legends canvas there. Not the biggest of names, but uh, we'll put them in the hit stack for later for a recap. So two pretty odd defying cards there, which is pretty cool. That one's a little bit less noticeable outside of the helmet and the muzzy. Nice little mustache there. Where's Chicago? Chicago was Bill Cunningham. Next up, we got a Hayden OPG rookie for the Yotes. But yeah, we hit a base variation, so that's a little bit spicy. And always good to see that. Next pack. Oh, rookie portraits of Jonathan Davidson for the Ottawa Senators. Jonathan Davidson, rookie portraits for the Senators. Next young gun here is... Atu Koivula for the New York Islanders. Koivula for the Islanders. But will we get will we get a clear cut card here? Or will series two kind of be left out? We'll find out shortly. These base are just stuck together here. There we go. And the good old little crack there. Uh, Boquist Marquee Rookie for the New Jersey Devils. Yes, for Boquist. Those base cards like to be clumped together. Yeah, looks like we got a regular canvas coming up here. And yeah, again, same thing with these base cards. They're just sticking together here. Uh, we have a canvas of Panarin for the Rangers. No base card stuck to that. Hang on, let me just get them apart here. There we go. And also I got to keep an eye out for the Brady Kachuk because I just want to show off that it is a variation. There we go. Unstuck them. That's really weird that they're sticking already. It's uh, been what, three months since Series 2 came out? So probably four or five months in boxes, which is at the most, which is pretty, pretty rare for them to already be stuck like that. So, um... Those three are just base. And we have a rookie portraits of Nick Suzuki for the Montreal Canadiens. And just base on the rest here. Yeah, just base on the rest. Here we go, next pack. We've got a young gun. And they're just sticking together for the Florida Panthers, Alexei Sorelia. Young Guns. He's the, one of the weirdest things is going to be his kind of rookie cards. So in his Young Gun is uh, with the Florida Panthers. I think his OPG rookie is with the, uh, the pack feels like thick. Is there, I think we got something fancy in this. I'm just going to save this pack because it, it's thick and it there looks like something cool in it. So we'll save it to the end. But and then his SP authentic, like his future watch, it's non autoed and it's on the Hurricanes, which is, that one's a little bit strange to me because he's traded uh, in like June of last year. But uh, PK Subban for the Devils. Um, so that one is a little bit strange how he's still on the Hurricanes when his Young Guns is on the Panthers. But, you know, uh, I guess it could just be a print thing. They had him printed early. That pack is really, really weird though. So we're saving it for the end of the box here. It might be normal, but these cards are sticking together. So uh, Joaquin Nygaard, retro, just base retro for the Oilers on the rookie. And 
base on the rest here. And if we don't hit a Kachuk base, I'm just going to go grab one quickly because I think I have one right near me here. So, ah, uh, we have a Guillaume Brisebois Young Gun for the Vancouver Canucks. Canucks are on the board here. Uh, what is this? Four more packs? Uh? Yeah, I'm shocked how like stuck together some of these cards are. It's a little bit, a little bit weird, but I mean, hey, weird isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, canvas of Tuka Rask for the Boston Bruins, and base on the rest. Now, three packs before that really weird pack. Like it just picking it up, it just feels. It felt a little bit different, so maybe there's nothing different with it, and I'm just feeling things, but um, who knows. Farabee for the um, Flyers on the rookie there. Yeah, I'm shocked how stuck together some of these packs are. All right. Uh, we've got a rookie portrait of Havery for the Capitals. Uh, no Kachuk base there. And... It's like we got a young gun to put the canvas here when it needs to go there. All right, there we go. Uh, we have a Joey Dackard young guns for the Ottawa Senators. Senators had a pretty solid box there. All right, let's see what's in this pack. See, like, it's got, like, something really thick in the middle there. Whether well, it's, like, two acetate cards put together, but um, that actually might be what it is. We will, oh, my gosh, this is an upside-down bait. Okay, how many cards are in this pack? We got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, we have we have two clear cuts in this pack. So uh, six, seven, eight. First clear cut. For the, never seen this before. Uh, this is new for the New Jersey Devils of Will Butcher. And then the second clear cut for the Vancouver Canucks of Jakob Markstrom. So it was a weird pack. Uh, and every single every single box had a clear cut. That is a... Uh, that was a 10 card pack? That's crazy. I've never seen that before. So two clear cuts in a single pack. So yeah, every single box had a clear cut there. Obviously, uh, Markstrom's pretty solid for the Canucks. Butcher is... Uh, not bad. Hang on one sec. I'm just gonna find a. Uh, gonna quickly try to find a young gun there to show off the difference between the uh, Kachuk and there we go. There's Ottawa. Is this a series two? Yeah, this is series two. Right. Where? Where is Brady Kachuk? Yeah. So there's the. So this is what the base Brady Kachuk is like. And then this is what his. Uh, Variation is so this is definitely the variation because again like I they have lots of these uh, Kachaks kicking around so Cool That was a Strange but fun box uh, That one's not in its proper place. I'll have to put that in there after but yeah <laughs> Strange boxes are always kind of cool to open up so good stuff there all around from all the products I mean how how likely is it to get uh two clear cut cards in a single single pack? That was a weird pack. That was one of those just like picking it up. It's just like, hey, this feels weird. All right, here we go. Back to series one. So halfway's point of the break. So far, so good. Could hit some bigger. I mean, series two has been really weird, mind you, with the uh, rookie crops. Cause like that first box we had like Primo Suzuki and Elvis in the same. I don't think they're all supposed to be in the same crop. And the second box, how many young guns did we get? Did we get um, three, four, five, six? Yeah, we got our six. Palmieri goes there. So we got our six, but yeah, that was a really weird box. All right. Empty. Here we go. So let's see, let's see some big young guns this, this time around. This run through. Ah, uh, looks like we got something different here. Uh, we got a clear cut of Mikkel Granlund for the Nashville Predators. It's a nice clear cut base for the Predators of Mikkel Granlund. 
But yeah, so base variation of Kachuk in that last box, the two clear cuts in a single pack. Uh, I mean, Hayden's a decent young gun. The retired canvas. So odds wise, that box is actually like, pretty crazy. Uh, next up, we've got a generation next of Nico Hichier for the Nashville Pred or Nashville New Jersey Devils. Still stuck on Nashville after that Mikel Granlund clear cut base. But yeah, overall, like lots of good stuff coming out of this. Uh, canvas of Travis Zajac for the New Jersey Devils. Devils hogging the hits right now. Got our first young gun coming up here. Uh, Carter or Carson Toransky for the Philadelphia Flyers. Toransky young guns for the Flyers. And we've got ourselves a Eric Branstrom rookie portraits for the Senators. Senators have been doing really, really well here. So, got some good, uh, some good hits. I mean, they have the potential for the Brady Kachuk Young Gun still. I mean, they hit the tough to hit Brady card out of series two. So, uh, next up is a Marcia So for Pure Energy for the Vegas Golden Knights. I'm just gonna have a quick sip of water here. There we go. All right. And I want to see a big young gun though. Let's see a nice young gun. Uh, Connor McDavid, UD30 for the Edmonton Oilers. That is, is that 11, 12 or 10, 11? I th it's one or the two. I think it's 11, 12. All right. I think, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think. Uh, next up, Nico Sturm for the Minnesota Wild. On the Young Guns. I feel like this is Jack Hughes that we're going to get here. But I've been wrong before. And I'll certainly be wrong again with my predictions. <laughs> Adam Henrique for the Anaheim Ducks on the canvas. I, I do want to see something like a Fanimation, though. I really want to see one of those. That'd be really cool. Uh, Pure Energy of Zibanejad for the New York Rangers. Or one of the retro uh, Acetate Young Guns from Series 2. Those are so cool. And uh, Eric Stahl Portraits for the Minnesota Wild. Look at the wild. We got a couple cards down the stretch here. Ted with the wild. And next up we have Carter Verhage Young Gun for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Verhage for the Lightning on the Young Guns. Looks like we got Generation Next coming up here. And it is. Matt Barzell for the New York Islanders. The one thing I wish they did better about the base variations though is that they made them more, like especially this year, they were really hard to identify unless you have a checklist right beside you. Um, you know, like what card is what. Um, it'd be nice if it was like a little bit more clear. Is that? No, it's just a regular young gun, okay. Uh, Adam Fox, there's a good one for the New York Rangers. Nice fox for the Rangers. It's been a while since we pulled a fox young gun, actually. Uh, but like one thing they did on EPAC that I really liked actually was they just had like like retired players, so they had like a Wayne Gretzky base as a variation stuff like that. I think it's really cool. Uh, Brandon Dubinsky for the Columbus Blue Jackets, but just a way to make them more like recognizable that they're different and special. Uh, so like eighteen nineteen, they're the triple exposure, so you see like. The three players on him, you're just like, okay, that's kind of different and cool. I'd like to see them do more of that stuff, make it easier um, to kind of recognize them. Dustin Bufflin for the Winnipeg Jets on the Pure Energy. 
it just make it like both better from a collecting experience and an opening experience because then you like know you actually have something cool whereas like if someone didn't know about base variations and they were opening up that pack of series two that had the kachuk in it you'd just be like oh i got a base pack like that kind of sucks uh portraits of patcheretti for the vegas golden knights or like something on the back to mark it because there's really nothing on the back that showcases that it's a variation either so just something that i'd like to see for future years uh kevin stenland for the blue jackets on the young guns probably gonna have to uh shrink some of these piles here shortly i don't know what, what do you guys want to see in uh see improved in series one series two or like changed up or something next up we got a shooting stars of tavares for the toronto maple leafs i don't like i like how they kind of kept stuff fairly consistent over the past few years and so that's been cool to see uh, we have a UD30 of Wayne Gretzky for the New York Rangers. And base on the rest. Next up, we got a Robert Thomas canvas for the St. Louis Blues. Three packs to go here, so pretty, like, again, just solid box. Nothing super fancy, nothing... I mean, you got a decent young gun in Adam Fox. You got a clear cut in Grandland. So maybe we'll see something spicy down the final stretch here. But overall, just a solid box. And there he is. Man of the hour, Jack Hughes. So now it's a really good box. So we got a top young gun here, which means that, uh, I mean, Series 1's kind of set the precedent for the rest of the boxes. So we got a top young gun in this box. So I think we'll get top young gun in other in the uh, other boxes here but nice jack hughes young gun for the devils who had the devils again that was dan dan with the devils i'm just gonna go through here and make sure that uh no it's at the bottom of this one right yeah i'm just gonna stick this card there so i don't forget to random it because i can already see see me forgetting about that it just when I do the recap, I'll remember, but I'll do that before the recap. So there we go. And portraits of McKinnon for the Avalanche. McKinnon portraits for the Avalanche. And last pack here. So decent box. Good young guns. I uh, got a clear cut. Nothing really too much to complain about. Uh, I'm finishing off on a McKinnon Pure Energy. It's weird how a lot of the times the portraits and pure energies just like match up with each other. So just so many coincidence, coincidences. Is, is. Just gonna stack the base up here. There we go. All right. So here we go. Back to series two. And again, really solid box. You got a good young gun and a clear cut. So see how uh see how series two treats us i want to see and the biggest thing that i'd want to see out of series two is like i don't know a good young gun exclusives or like one of the retro um retro young guns those are always cool I think we got a weird case of Series 2 from 1920 on our hands. Definitely some oddball stuff already, which is cool. Alright, first pack of 1819 Series 2. What are we going to get? I'm saying we get a Kachuk Young Gun in this box. Uh, Ovechkin Canvas, that's a cool one for the Washington Capitals. Love the photo they used there. Him staring at the cup banner going up. Well, Ovechkin set the bar for Stanley Cup celebrations that year, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, Henry Yokoharu, marquee rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. Yokoharu, marquee rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. And our silver is nice one for the Flames of Falamaki. 
Nice silver there for the flames. No PD yet either in any of the subsets, which would be, it'd be nice to see a Patterson. You know, even if it's just a rookie portraits or something, but looks like we got a jersey card coming up here. Oh, uh, what's it going to be? It is uh, rookie materials for the Winnipeg Jets of Sammy Niku. Nice one there for the Jets. Rookie materials of Sammy Niku. Pretty, pretty good seventh round. I think he's a seventh round pick, and I mean he's turned out fairly well. So decent player, especially for where he's drafted. And canvas of Henrik Lundqvist for the New York Rangers. I feel like I've said the Rangers a lot this break. The only thing they're really missing is like a taco. Young guns, pretty much, at this point. So they've got Fox. They've got some good stuff. they got Anderson. Uh, for the Buffalo Sabres, not a bad one. Casey Millsat, young gun. To go along with your uh, clear cut there, Ted. Nice one there. And would have been better at the start of the product because he's kind of fallen off a little bit, but hopefully he'll bounce back. So very highly skilled, that's for sure. Uh... Yuso Ricola, marquee rookie retro for the Pittsburgh Penguins. I mean, his, his puck skills are pretty pretty crazy, so. If we can bring him to the NHL level, that'd be awesome. Next up, we've got uh, Christopher N, marquee rookie for the Detroit Red Wings. For N Marquee Rookie for the Detroit Red Wings. Next up, uh, Portraits of Dylan Dubé for the Calgary Flames. He's a good player. You'll see him in the Calgary lineup for a long time. I love the way he plays. And. We've got uh, Stephen Fogarty, Young Guns, for the New York Rangers. So technically we hit one of the bigger Young Guns from the set at the time of release in Millstat. Um, he'd be like, he would be the equivalent of hitting Doc right now, except Doc, I think, has a lot more potential. Ooh, actually we've got a Young Gun checklist here of Sveshnikov and Kachuk. Not a bad one there, so that'll be random off if we don't get a second one there between Carolina and Ottawa. So between uh, do, 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 Bayou and Alexander. Uh, Nashville has some good young guys. Like, they have Fabro in Series 1. That's who you're really, really hoping for, uh, young gun-wise. They have a couple others. I think they've got Pitlick. Um, they are a little bit quieter, but they still do have some good rookies, so... Thomas portraits for the blues. Um, yeah, especially like Fabro's who you're looking for with the Preds. He is a very, very good defenseman. Uh, ooh, marquee rookie black. These are tough to hit. Uh, numbered 72 out of 100 of Matthew Joseph for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Nice one there for the Lightning. Not a bad one there. And naturally, you do have the uh, clear cut with Granlin. I know it's not the biggest name card, but it's uh, still a tough to hit card. So get the jo I got the Joseph in a sleeve right away just because the black borders can... Uh, the black borders on those can kind of ding up a little bit. So just for when we do the recap. And then got the Valimaki Silver and the Valimaki Regular Opichi Rookie in this. So but yeah. Pretty solid box here. I mean, technically we hit top young guns. Just it happened to be in the checklist. <laughs> not always ideal, but you take it. Uh, not a bad one here either for the Toronto Maple Leafs of Andreas Janssen. Nice one there for the Leafs. Forgot how solid the Leafs are actually between the two years. You have Sandine, you have Janssen, you have Mikheyev. And then just quantity too. Rasmussen Retro Rookie for the Detroit Red Wings. Just a regular back on that one. I think, does Nashville have Tolvin in? Is Tolvin in Series 2? Not quite sure. Uh, Comtois for the Ducks on the Marquee Rookie. Just 
have a quick peek here. You do have, yeah, you do have Tolvin in. I don't know if his base young gun's in here uh, or if he's series one. I think he's series one. Uh, quick scan. Yeah, he is series one. His canvas might be in here though. Uh, no, his canvas looks like it's series one as well. So, I mean, you still have rookie materials and stuff of him though. So he's the other one that you're kind of looking for. Uh, rookie Portraits of Batherson for the Senators. Batherson Rookie Portraits for the Senators. And it's like we got another Young Guns coming up here of Rourke Chartier for the San Jose Sharks. Chartier for the Sharks. I've uh, got a Shrink the insert pile after this box for sure, because uh, it's right up to the edge of my monitor, so. Uh, Jonathan Taze canvas for the Chicago Blackhawks, walking down that red carpet. Let's see something fancy in these, fast, in these last few packs here. Let's see something cool. We've got, uh, actually, good young gun here for the Anaheim Ducks, the Sam Steele as well really like Sam Steele as a player. So one of the reasons why I like series two is because like Anaheim is generally weaker in, or like last year's series two, um, like Anaheim is generally weaker this year. So they have a good couple of young guns in series two. So it just helps balance them out a little bit. Uh, Sumela for the Sharks, rookie portraits. I think we've hit them in like every single subset you can get. Uh, Tampa Bay as well with Joseph, uh, Calgary with Valimaki. They have Spencer Fu stuff and Dubé. Uh, there is chance at Dubé stuff. So, uh, Bodker for the Senators on the update. And last pack here. So, actually really strong young gun crop overall, which is good. I mean, it's what you're hoping for. So, uh, we were finishing with an Alex Edler canvas for the Vancouver Canucks. I'm just going to go ahead and shrink the base stacks here and, uh, do a mini a little bit of organizing for two seconds. Those there. Shuffle these out of the way. All right. That is better. Perfect. All right, here we go. On to this year's series two. Let's see. Uh, what do I want to see here? I mean, Kako would make some sense. But technically, we've hit a top young gun in the boxes so far, so maybe that'll keep be the theme for these uh, these three. But so far, our best pull is probably the... Uh, I mean, the middle stack clear cut's a really nice card, so it'd be nice to top that. All right. Box is empty. And here we go. Let's see what's kicking around here. We got a Yakablilia blue for the oh, wrong pile. Got to start the pile over again here. Hang on. For the Columbus Blue Jackets, the marquee rookie blue. It always seems to be that top right pack, eh? Let's see if Series 2 continues to be weird. I like when boxes are weird. Weird normally means you can get some really good stuff. So, some different stuff. Uh, Bamstrom for the Blue Jackets on the marquee rookie. The Blue Jackets just have a ton of volume this year. And good rookies too. Like, Bamstrom's good, Merzlikin's good, Tex is good, so... They're actually one of the stronger teams overall. Yeah, so there's the base Brady Kachuk again. Uh, Kucherov canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So again, that was the variation we pulled, which is really cool. Those are super tough to hit. Uh, looks like we got our young guns, the first young guns of the box coming up here. And it is Yuna Luoto for the Winnipeg Jets. Uh... Is he with, is he with Zadina? I think he's with Therabee. 
if I remember. Maybe, no, I forget who I pulled him with. Uh, Connor Timmons, rookie portraits for the Avalanche. Timmons, rookie portraits for the Avalanche. And, uh, ooh, one of one here for the Colorado Avalanche. Buybacks of John Michael Lyles. Nice one there for the Avalanche, Joseph. There you go, nice little buyback one of one action. That's from uh, oh, 8.09? No, it's from 10.11, series two. Let me just get it in a top loader here. So buyback one of one of John Michael Lyles for the Colorado Avalanche from 10.11 series, uh, series two there. Cool little hit there. Nice little Easter egg content. Next up, we got a retro rookie of Bjornfot for the LA Kings. Kings have been pretty quiet, actually, for these first couple of boxes, or I mean, the first half in general. They've got a decent amount of young guns, too, so. Ah, uh, nice one for the Chicago Blackhawks, Kirby Dak young guns. That one sleeved up. So we did hit a good young gun in every single. I mean, middle stat I said was equal to uh, to that kind of at the time of release. So in terms of like sales and stuff. So kind of funny how that works. There we go. Uh, next pack. Let's see a Jakob Truva canvas for the New York Rangers. So Chicago's doing well. Um, I mean, they hit their they hit their canvas. Um, their canvas. They hit one of their good young guns, which is good to see. Uh, Carolina's doing well. Ottawa's doing Ottawa. Uh, Morgan Frost for the Flyers on the OPG rookie. Ottawa's just, I mean, Ottawa even has had, like, just their high volume that they normally have. They've just been, uh, hit some rarer stuff, which is always good, so. Uh, Mackenzie McEachern portraits for the St. Louis Blues. McEachern for the Blues, and last pack of the first half of the box here. Let's see what we're gonna get. Don't forget we got the high gloss early on, too, which is always cool. Uh, we have an Oliver Wallstrom, Young Guns for the New York Islanders. Not a bad one there with the Wallstrom either. None of these base cards are stuck to each other, so it looks like those kind of first few boxes were a little bit of... Uh, those first couple boxes were a bit of a oddball. And as I say that, the base cards are stuck together, so just jinxed it. Um, base, base, Cadre update for the Avalanche. And it looks like we got more base here. Yeah, just base. So, I mean, hey, that's where things got a little bit weird last time was the base being stuck together. So maybe it'll get weird again. There we go. Uh, I mean, Scott Sabrin, rookie for the Ottawa Senators. Let's try to get these base apart here. Yeah, just all base there. And all base there. Sometimes stuff could be hide it, hiding in it. Next up, here we go. We've got a uh, uh, canvas of Franz Nielsen for the Detroit Red Wings, and then uh, that's not it's not split. And hang on, there we go. Uh, base, base, more base, just all stuck together. All right. Next pack. Doesn't look like anything super weird in here. It's just all stuck together. There we go. Got the nice little pop out of it. Uh, we have a rookie portraits of Capo Caco for the New York Rangers. Nice little Caco for the Rangers there. A few packs to go here. This pack feels like it just. It feels like a brick. Um, we got a young gun coming up. 
of Rasmus Asplund for the Buffalo Sabres. Sabres have been doing pretty well here. And just base on the rest there. Love that sound of the cards sticking together. Uh, this is a clear cut. We'll save it just in case it's a double clear cut again. Or it's a young gun or something. One way to find out is go through it, but uh, go. And yeah, uh, Marky Rookie Retro of Sandine for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, base sticking together here. There we go. Got what, five packs and the pack that looked like it had a clear cut on it. So this pack doesn't seem stuck together, which is nice for a change. Max Ferrado for the Ottawa Senators. Here come the Senators Young Guns. Marching in one by one. <laughs> I think they have seven total between Series 1 and Series 2 this year. And then they have a few last year, obviously, with Kachuk and a couple other players bowling in. And we have a Young Guns Canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning of Alexander Volkov. Pulled him in the... Uh, Last week break too. I feel like we pulled him a few times actually. Next, Yakabulia, Marky Rookie for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Two packs to go before we check out what that clear cut card was. There we go. And. We have a McKay of Portraits for the Toronto Maple Leafs. McKay of Portraits for the Maple Leafs. And last pack here. Looks like we got another Young Guns coming. It is uh, Andrew Peak for the Columbus Blue Jackets. All right. So I think this was a clear cut. We'll uh, move things to the front. Everything's kind of stuck together again. So just all base there and base base and all base there and it's a clear cut of Cody Cece for the Toronto Maple Leafs Cody Cece clear cut for the Toronto Maple Leafs Whew. never thought series 2 would be uh, this difficult to open but here we are <laughs> there alright so last box of series 1 series 1 has treated us kind of well today which is good. Um, something that we'd want to see is a one of one buyback, maybe. Uh, I mean, can't ask for too much, obviously, given that we got the uh, super cool clear cut leaders. But one of one buyback would be solid, especially if it's a young gun. Watch them have like a Crosby one of one buyback young gun in this. That'd be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. I know they had an Ovechkin though, so who knows? All right, first stack of packs there. So they like to fall over on me. Second stack there. Box is empty. And here we go. All right. So far we've got two randoms to do between the clear cut trios and the young guns checklist, but let's see. Uh, for the Montreal Canadiens, Patrick Waugh, UD30. UD30 of Patrick Waugh for the Habs. Let's see a Fabro young gun here. That good defenseman group. We get Fabro, we get Bjornfot. Be a nice little group to get, I think. Uh, well, or just, you know, straight to Quinn Hughes. For the Vancouver Canucks, nice one there, Ted. Congrats on the Quinn Hughes Young Guns. He's been going up in value here. It's crazy to see him actually spike up more and more by the day, so. Well, PD's dropping, actually. PD's kind of dropped a little bit lately, which is shocking. But, hey, that's the market. Uh, we got a canvas of Jason Zucker for the Minnesota Wild. Feel like we hit that canvas every single time we open up series one. Uh, so yeah, I mean Hughes is obviously one of the young guns you're hoping for, so it's already a good box. 
Uh, Pure Energy of Shabbat for the Ottawa Senators. Shabbat for the Senators. And next pack here is a Portraits of the King for the New York Rangers. Lundquist Portraits for the Rangers. And base on the rest. What we got coming up here? We have a Young Guns of Joel Esperance for the Dallas Stars. Joel Esperance Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. Ooh, we got a jersey card. It is... Devin Dubnik for the Minnesota Wild UD game jersey. Believe he's gonna be a uh, a Group E, but you never know. Sometimes they're uh... yeah, he is a Group E. So again, not one of the harder ones to pull, but again, still a solid name. So not a bad one there for the Wild. Wild have a couple nice little cards here. All right. Next pack, we've got a Kyle Connor, Generation Next for the Winnipeg Jets. And a Young Gun Canvas Checklist for the New York Rangers of Capo Caco and Adam Fox. Well, another good hit there. I mean, you got anything, anytime you get a good Young Gun Canvas, or... Like anytime you get a Young Gun Canvas in this year's Series 1, it seems like the box is just in general really good. So that's a good sign. I mean, we've already hit the Quinn Hughes Young Gun, so that's already good. Um, but yeah, it just seems like whenever you hit that Young Gun Canvas in Series 1, it's a sign of a good box. So uh, Teddy Bluger for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Young Guns. Yeah, I mean, solid box. Got a good young gun canvas with the checklist and uh, good young guns. I mean, Bluger is solid in his own. Hughes is obviously the big one, but overall just good. Uh, portraits of Hurdle for the Sharks. Thomas Hurdle portraits for the Sharks. And after this, only one stack of Series 1 packs to go. It's going to be something cool hiding in the back. Uh, pure Energy of Kachuk for the Flames. Uh, ooh, that is a... Is that a Young Gun? I don't know what that is. That's a, that's a Young Guns. That might be a High Gloss. That might be a High Gloss Young Guns. That might be a massive hit. That might be a really big hit. Uh, Vili Hainala for the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, we're, we're saving that one till the end here. <laughs> that could be... That could be pretty big. Uh, canvas of a vendor came for the San Jose Sharks. And I think it was Buffalo. Which I think there's only one Buffalo player on this checklist. But we will see. Uh, Malkin for the Penguins on the Pure Energy. Oh boy. I'm excited for that. I will see what it is at the end. But yeah, th that. Oh boy. That could be a monster card. So, of course, I could just be hyping it up and it turns out to be nothing. But uh, Eichel Portraits for the Sabres. Got another Young Guns coming up here. Ooh, I put the can in the wrong pile. There we go. Uh, Brady Keeper for the Panthers on the Young Guns. Looks like our Shooting Stars is up here. And it is Sidney Crosby for the Penguins on the Shooting Stars. 
All right, we got five packs to go here before that last one. Again, I think that might be, you know, let me look at the back here. That might be a Young Gun High Gloss coming. So buckle up, folks, uh, for the Boston Bruins McAvoy generation next because it was gold. And I think the exclusives are red on the back. So that could be one of our biggest pulls to date. <laughs> Out of any product. Uh, Matheson for the Panthers. Either way, it's definitely worth saving to the end. Because, yeah, that is... Uh, that could be something pretty ridiculous. Gavrikov for the Blue Jackets. On the Young Guns. Two packs to go here. Oh, boy. Uh, Quinn Hughes rookie portraits for the Vancouver Canucks. Not a bad Hughes there either. This has been a really good box. I mean, just without that card there, which could be a very, very big card. Um, yeah. We got the Hughes and the uh, canvas checklist there, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, Sebastian Ajo, pure energy for the Carolina Hurricanes. All right, here we go. What's it going to be? Oh, it is. Young Guns High Gloss for the Buffalo Sabres of Victor Olofsson. Wow. What a pull. Numbered one of ten. Ted, that is yours. Whew. That's a monster card. Congrats. Oh. That's a big hit. Man. That is, uh, I'm putting it on a top loader and sleeve here for you right away. So, um, yeah. Congrats, Ted. That's a massive, massive, massive hit. Awesome hit there. Whoa, that's probably the best card we've pulled yet. So, like, ever. In all of our breaks so far wow that is that's what you hope to get so um the sabers are having themselves a killer break like if you just think about like they hit the middle stat like uh clear cut from series two too like geez just crazy What's next, the middle stat high gloss or a dulling young gun canvas? I mean, it could happen. But, oh. So we've hit two high glosses in this break too. Which is, high glosses are super tough to hit. So that's pretty crazy in and of itself. A high gloss of Tanner Pearson, which is just the base. But it's still a good card. Like. High losses are something that, like, are still really good pulls. I'm just going to slide this back. There we go. Give ourselves some more room. Yeah, again, that's, like, that's why you, that's why you join breaks, is just to have the chance at stuff like that. Like, it's, that is ridiculous. Uh, for the Panthers, Yuho Lamico. Oh, that is, uh, my heart's definitely going a little bit faster here. That's a big, big, big pull. Congrats. Uh, Zach Aston Reese portraits for the Penguins. Oop, nudge the camera there. My bad. Yeah, that, that card's going last on the re on the recap. That's for sure. <laughs> wow, Series 1 killed it. Holy cow. Ah, uh, Lamico Young Guns for the Panthers. Panthers have done pretty well today. Just in terms of quantity. Let's turn it this way. There we go. I mean, I don't know what can actually top that out of. I mean, obviously, like a Svetch or something. But uh, Nicholas Wa or Nicholas Roy, I think it's it. Nicholas Wa, yeah. Um, young Guns for the Hurricanes. Like, you're, you're hoping for, like, an equivalent name high gloss out of series two. This pack kind of shredded weird. Hang on, let's. 
There we go. That's one of the weirdest packs that I've ever had to open. There we go. Got around the corner. Uh, we have a Portraits of Vorobiev for the Flyers. That is, yeah, that's a that's a monster card. <laughs> Before that, I think the actual like top dollar value card we hit was the Primu, uh, like Caden Primu exclusives. I think, was that in the first break too? Um, and we got something clear cut coming here. We want to save the clear cut. It looks like uh, it might not be. We'll we'll just go with it. Uh, no, it is clear cut for the Winnipeg Jets of Nikola Ehlers. Nice little Ehlers clear cut. We got a lot of clear cuts too in this. Like overall, it's just been really, like every product's brought it. So, whew. Like the, the amount of hits that like would normally be in a recap is very, very high right now. Uh, Program of Excellence canvas for the Calgary Flames of Dylan Dubé. Nice one there for the Flames. Dylan Dubé, Program of Excellence canvas. It just it just doesn't stop. Like this has just been such a good break. It's been ridiculous. Like when like when you hit the top young guns and they're not even probably gonna be in your top three hits. That's crazy. So uh Rupe hints for the Dallas Stars on the Marquee Rookie. That is like just massive. Congrats again. That is one of the best pulls that we've had for sure. Comtois Silver for the Anaheim Ducks. Comtois Silver for the Ducks. And I don't know, like you'd have to hit an equivalent high gloss or like a Svetch exclusives at the very least to equal that out of this. Uh, Dubois canvas for the blue jackets. But wow, what a hit. What a break. And there's still one more box. Like we still have half a box of series two and one full box of last year's or this year's series two. Uh, Spencer food for the flames. Is this Carter Hart? I feel like it's a Carter Hart box. Uh, John Tavares, update for the Leafs, retro update. This feels like a Carter Hart box. Not 100% certain, but feels like it's Carter Hart. Uh, we, I think we got another Young Gun, I think we got a Young Gun exclusives there. We'll save that to the end. If we hit another, like, top name exclusives, I'm, oh, that'd just be disgusting. Uh, nice one for the Sabres again, Rasmus Dahlin. Marquee rookie. I mean, if you're going to hit a rookie, hitting the number one overall draft pick is always good. Wow. I That looked like a Young Gun exclusives there. So uh, we will save it. Uh, Gilmore for the Rangers. Gilmore Young Guns for the New York Rangers. And next up. Sam Steele, Marquee Rookie Retro for the Anaheim Ducks. I think that's another young, I think that's a Young Guns exclusives coming up here, which is just ridiculous. Like this break has been crazy. Uh, Ilya Labushkin for the Coyotes on the Marquee Rookie. And I think this is Fetch's crop too, which if we, or not Fetch, I think this is Carter Hart's crop, so. If that is a Carter Hart, that's massive. It's not guaranteed to be, but it's got the potential. Uh, Lundstrom for the Ducks. I don't know if the exclusives fall in their crop. I don't, sometimes they do, sometimes, I guess they're random. That's why sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but it could be a very big pull. Uh, Batherson Young Guns for the Senators. Not a bad one there. I mean, oh, what a break. I think that's a Young Guns exclusive though. So, uh, Victor Hedman canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, this pack just shredded weird. The top corners don't seem to want to 
come off the packs. There we go. And we have a Euro Vakaninen Young Guns for the Boston Bruins. Vakaninen for the Bruins. Next up, uh, Spencer Fu for the Flames on the Rookie Portraits. Two packs to go here before we get to that last card of the Series 2 box. And I mean, then we got one more box of Series 2. So uh, Eric Carlson for the Sharks on the OPG update. Love those jerseys. Last pack here. Maybe this wasn't Carter Hart's crop. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm just wrong. Uh, Brad Marchand canvas for the Boston Bruins. Look at him piggybacking uh, David Pashnak. That's a cool little photo, actually. All right, here we go. Who's it going to be? Let's slow roll it. Nice for the Anaheim Ducks. Young Guns exclusives. Number 2100 of Isaac Lundstrom. Number 43 of 100. Who had the Ducks? Jeremy. Wow. <laughs> um... So young gun exclusives are typically like you're lucky if you get one a case on average. Like they're not even guaranteed one per case on average. They seem to fall about one per case. So this is this is crazy. Um, what a break! And we still have one more box of series two. I mean, let's just go off of what we've been saying the whole time. Series one has set the tone for the other boxes, so that clearly means out of this box we're gonna get a young gun exclusives, right? Of a halfway decent player because Lundstrom's actually a halfway decent player. Um, again, not the biggest name, but had a pretty good. He kind of didn't have a great year in the AHL last year, but everything up to that, he was decent. So, all right, final box, and this has just been an insane break. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Let's see something crazy. Let's just, let's get crazy here. This is going to be our OPG blue. We know this for a fact. Uh, Adam Boquist for the Chicago Blackhawks. Wow. Um, needless to say, this has been a just crazy break. Like, just crazy. I'm going to have a tough time actually ordering, like, the hits. Well, I know what the number one hit is, but... Uh, Boquist for the Chicago Blackhawks on the regular OPG. So you got started on the rainbow there for Chicago. Next up, we have a John Klingberg canvas for the Dallas Stars. This has just been, oh, it's been crazy. Got a regular young gun coming up here of John Marino for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nice one there for the Penguins. They've done, Penguins have done really well, actually. Um, hit their good young guns. Um, yeah, it's been pretty solid for a lot of teams here. Uh, Dimitro Timoshov for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Avalanche have been, I don't know, they got the one of one of Wiles, so... They still have a pretty cool hit. They've been a little bit quiet, but nothing like extreme. Uh, well, we have a Young Guns exclusives. I didn't pick it up in time, but Alexander Volkov. How about that? Three straight boxes with the Young Guns of high glosses or exclusives. Nice hit there for Tampa Bay. Bayo, that is yours. You've actually got the rainbow in this break, I think. You got everything except for the high gloss. <laughs> That is crazy. I I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, obviously not the biggest name, but any Young Gun exclusives is a good good card. So they're super tough to hit, and hitting like three in a row is from different products from different years is just that's just crazy. Uh, that's just ridiculous. Uh, Jack Hughes, OPG Retro Rookie for the New Jersey Devils. 
I even, hang on, I forgot to actually move all the base over. I just don't want to get it mixed up here. Uh, we're back to have to go right to there. Okay, cool. Just got to slide this base over so I don't get it mixed up. There we go. So I got caught up in all the excitement with the uh, high gloss and another exclusives that forgot to resort the base. Next, for the New York Rangers, Capo Caco, young gun. There he is. Rangers had a really good break. I mean, oh, like, seriously, this has just been a monster break. Just absolutely crazy. I, yeah. Um, wow. We're going to hit an insane Young Gun canvas in this box, too, while we're at it. Uh, Marchand canvas for the Bruins. Let's see, like, a Macar Program of Excellence canvas. If we're calling shots, I mean, we might as well call something weird like that, right? At this point. <laughs> uh, Nick Camano for the Dallas Stars on the rookie. And yeah, like we've pulled two high glosses. I think we've pulled two high glosses, um, which is high glosses are just really tough to pull in general. So two in the same break, three young guns, exclusives, like three young guns, exclusives or high glosses. Um, rookie portraits of Volkov for the Tampa Bay lightning. Bay, I was going to have a nice little, uh, Volkov PC pretty much from this break. Um, yeah, and I think we hit, we've hit, Two Young Guns exclusives and two regular exclusives. Or one regular exclusives, I think. Uh, there's the regular Volkov. So if you didn't have him before, you now have him for sure. Got a nice little Volkov. You got his canvas in here for sure. You've got his exclusives. <laughs> He's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Sadin Dual Auto and I will, I will freak out here. So it looks like the top stack is the uh, stuck together stack here. Uh, Gustafson for the Jets. Maybe like a rookie materials patch or something. I don't, I really don't know at this point. Like, it's just been crazy. Um, that's just a base, base, base. Parisi for the wild on the canvas. Um, like, and we hit a base variation too. Like, we've hit some really, really tough to hit cards. Like, just both odds wise and. Just everything about this break has been just crazy. All right, there we go. Still stuck together here, eh? Uh, portraits of Connor Clifton for the Bruins. And just base on the rest there. I just want to make sure I take my time going through them because sometimes when cards stick together, you can get a bonus hit, as we saw with the two clear cups in that one pack. Uh, there we go. They are unstuck. And nice one for the uh, St. Louis Blues, Clem Costin Young Guns. Good one there. And just sometimes when cards are stuck together, it's just they're stuck together when they're printed off. So, but yeah, Sadin Dual Auto would be absolutely insane to finish this off. Looks like we got just a rookie material, so. which is fine. Uh, we got a fly coming in here. Get out of here. Uh, we'll show the rookie materials off of Adam Boquist for the Chicago Blackhawks. I believe he's actually a group A, so tougher one to get there. And just base on the rest. Whew, this has been this has been a wild break. And just a lot of like clear cuts too. Like just a lot of good parallels. <laughs> it's crazy. Pavelski for the stars on the update. Uh, again, just base on the rest here. Yep. Got what? One, two, three, four, five. This is six packs to go. We got two randoms to do still. Don't forget about those. Then we'll do the recap, which is going to take a little bit because, oh boy, we have a lot to recap. Um, you're attacking retro for the sharks. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Ah. 
Looks like we got another Young Guns here. And Pierre Engvall for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Pierre Engvall for the Toronto Maple Leafs. All right, we got four packs to go here. Let's see if we can get something spicy to end it off on. Uh, for the Predators, uh, canvas of Ryan Johansson. Johansson for the Predators. Three packs left. Looks like we just got a regular OPG card coming up here. And it's uh, Cody Glass, rookie for the Vegas Golden Knights. Two packs to go. Again, thank you everyone for coming out. We'll get these two randoms done quickly, and then we'll get into the very extensive recap because it's going to be in insane. Uh, Lean Bergman, portraits for the Sharks. And final pack, what's going to be hiding in it? I don't know. Let's just see an insane young gun or canvas maybe, but... Looks like it's just going to be a base young gun of Giovanni Smith. So, I mean, eh, still not bad. So, we got two randoms to do still. Um, we got the Carolina Ottawa one here for the Sveshnikov Kachuk checklist. And then we got the trios between. Uh, so, we got this one. We'll do the random for the Svechin Kachuk first, then the McKinnon, uh, Kane, and Ovechkin second. So. Just going to go ahead and get the random set up for that. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> just crazy break. All right, so first up we have uh, Ott, Ott, Car, Car. All right, and then next up we have uh, random.org forward slash list. And we have Chicago, Chicago, Colorado, Colorado, and then it was Washington. Yeah, Washington, Washington, Washington. All right. Uh, let's make sure we go left to right on the card. Keep it consistent. All right. So here we go. Randoms are good to go. Good luck, everyone. So here we go. So first random is for the Svechnikov Kachuk Young Guns Checklist. So again, three times, whoever's on top gets the card. Once, twice, and thrice. And Ottawa. And then second time here is the uh, the clear-cut leaders of Patrick Kane, uh, Nathan McKinnon, and Alex Ovechkin. So again, three times, person on top gets the card. Good luck, everyone. Once, twice, and Colorado's running it on top. And they stayed on top. Colorado takes on that card as well. So, I mean, wow, uh, this is, it's going to make a note here. This is Ottawa. Uh, make sure we have this highlighted and then Colorado, right? Yep. Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Whoever had that, uh, the Bruins hit some stuff like just quantity wise young guns, nothing major, but we're going to do the recap here shortly. So uh, let me just get this set up and clear up out of the way quickly, just so everyone gets a good, just, just how insane this break was. Um, okay. That's one of the better cards. Let me uh, organize this quickly here. There's a lot of stuff to recap. Um, that kind of can go with that. Uh, that can go with that in the cool cards. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Uh, that can go there, that can go there. Uh, sure, you can go with that. You can go there. Uh, you're about as cool as those stuff, I guess. Uh, we'll stick you with here. Okay, and then to end the stack, we go with boom, boom, boom. Actually, I think this goes probably here. We'll go something like this. Uh, hang on. There's a lot of stuff for the recap for once. Well, not for once, but like a lot of good stuff for the recap. So I'm just trying to order it in a how cool the cards are and how rare the cards are fashion. Because this was, this was actually a ridiculous break. Uh, this can go here. I forgot we got that. 
Um, you know, where do I put? Those are all at the bottom there. So this can go probably here. Uh, you can go here. Slide you there. You two go here, or maybe you on top. Something like this, I think, is good enough. Okay. Oh, I need to stack these in here somewhere. It's probably about here. All right. So we're ordered for the recap, more or less. Uh, we'll start off with some jerseys. Um, so first off was a rookie photo shoot. Like the two biggest jersey cards that we got were the Pro Rob rookie photo shoot. Those are about a case hit from series two, 1819 series two, and then the rookie dual materials of Sandin and Mikheyev from 1920 series two. Uh, we hit between all the boxes, actually, we hit a lot of clear cuts. Um, so we hit a butcher. This is from series two, 1920 series two. Uh, we hit a Markstrom. These were actually the same pack, uh, also 1920 Series 2. Uh, Granlin, which is uh, 1920 Series 1. Uh, Ehlers from Series 1. And then the CC was from Series 2. So lots of clear cuts. Like that's what, five clear cuts? And they're about one in every three boxes. Um, and then we had two retro canvases. So Dirk Graham from this year's Series 2. And Ted Lindsay's from last year's Series 2. So those were both kind of cool. Uh, in terms of other base parallels that we got here, we got a uh, we got a Hampus Lindholm exclusives to 100. So nice one there for the Ducks. And also another nice, like a high gloss of Tanner Pearson, which I mean, hitting a high gloss is insane. So nice one there for the Canucks of Pearson. And in terms of like regular young guns, we got, um, hang on, these need to go, little, or, no, we still got some more base stuff to go over first. Hang on, there we go. Uh, we hit uh, OPG Black of Matthew Joseph to 100, which is pretty ridiculous. A John Michael Lyles one of one uh, buyback. Uh, Dylan Dubé Program of Excellence canvas from Series 2. Jordan Cairo Signature Sensations from Series 1. Uh, Brady Kachuk uh, Base Variation. These are about 1 in 1,000 packs from Series 2. Uh, our regular Young Guns and canvases were just... Pretty solid. We hit a Svetch, we hit Caden Primu, Merzlikens, and Suzuki, Kirby Doc, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, Capo Caco, two decent young gun canvases in Marino and um, the Caco and Fox checklist. And then kind of the big hits here. Got the five biggest hits to kind of end things off. Um, I don't know what order to do them in. We'll, we'll do it this way, I guess. So first up, we hit an. Young Guns exclusives of Volkov from Series 2, from 1920 Series 2. Uh, we also hit a Lundestrom exclusives from Series 2 from last year to 100. We also hit a Clear Cut Leaders Trios from Series 1 of this year, which these are like every 10 cases, so really tough pull. Uh, Casey Middlestat, uh, Clear Cut for the Sabres. And then finally, I mean... Really, like just the high gloss of Victor Olofsson is just absolutely insane. So congrats to Ted. Ted had the Sabres. I mean, what a break overall. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Uh, just as a reminder, we do have some breaks. Uh, next week's, the Saturdays, is already sold out. Uh, there might be a couple spots left in the mixer for next Thursday. Uh, and then we've got two other breaks a week after that are all posted online. Uh, if you want to check them out, there is a link coming up here. If you're watching on YouTube, the link will be in the description below. Um, and again, if you want to win a spot in next Thursday's break, there's a contest for that. I'll drop the link here. And then finally, uh, we are offering a contactless curbside pickup on select days. So when you place your order online, if you're in the area, you can select a time at checkout to reserve your spot. But anyways, uh, let's just take one more look at this card because that is a monster pull. Uh, thank you everyone for coming out. Sorry it's a bit of a longer break, but just the absolute insanity of this break was just crazy. Uh, take care and see you on Thursday. Peace.